Well, they ask me sometimes how I think about it. Nowadays, uh, music, country music, or blues music. Well, you only have an ear program on the moment that's uh, the real country sound, the real country music, uh, pure blues. What's real country music anyhow, you know? I grew up with uh, the music of the late 50s and the early 60s, and there was rock and roll and rockabilly uh, before that, and Hank Williams. Uh, he was one of the first to play rock and roll, actually. And, uh, well, the country music in the 60s was different. Of the country music of the 80s and 90s, you know. But uh, the real country and western music they called back then, like uh, Hank Snow and Cowboy Cokes and Wet Beers and in the early 60s, Buzz Owens, the, the first records of Merle Haggard, you know. In the 70s, we've got that uh, outlaw sound, Waylon Jennings, and Billy Joe Shaver, Willie Nelson, Tumble Glazer, you know. Change in the 90s, change, I tell you, it uh, became more pop, country pop music. And today's music in Nashville, the establishment in Nashville, well, I fell down and uh, it was too commercial, you know, as what today. And uh, so that, that's also blues music, the traditional blues music. Uh, where the music comes from, the rhythm, the beat. Well, it all comes from Africa, I think. And so uh, the influence is all over the world. Uh, they connect with each other, you know, and that, that's hard to say to put music in, in, a, in, a, in, in cages, you know. And, and, Categories to make a long, long story short. Well, I just play my own music, Grammy Wayne sound, and uh, maybe someday someone will get a little uh, intrigued by my sound and. They can tell it over 50 years, you know, it's, it, what, what kind of music you play. Well, you know, this music, when you play from the heart, the soul, well, it's pure, it's true. And uh, you don't have to give it a name, you know. It's a long